We have been counting down the days until the two-hour season premiere of Mad Men, and we could not think of a better way to celebrate the popular 60s show than with a Mad Men-inspired cocktail party. On this episode of Theme My Party, I'm gonna show you how to create a Mad Men menu that would make Don proud. First up, cocktails. These are some of our show-inspired favorites. Leading the pack is Dawn's go-to cocktail, the Old Fashioned. This is not your typical Old Fashioned. There's no frills and no fuss about it. It's just whiskey, bitters, lemon, and a little bit of sugar. Now you may remember this next cocktail from season one. This is when Dawn mistook Rachel Minkin as a secretary and he was trying to woo her back and apologize for doing it. She ordered a Mai Tai. They were really popular in the 50s and 60s. They're so nostalgic, they're colorful, they're made with light and dark rum, almond syrup, triple sec, and tons of fruity garnishes. This one is Betty Draper's favorite drink. It's the Gimlet Martini, it's served straight up with gin and roses lime juice and a little bit of lime as garnish. And it's just like Betty, beautiful and classic. But if you wanna keep things simple, you can't go wrong with a dirty martini. For food, we were inspired by the swinging 60s and no 60s cocktail party is complete without the crowd favorite of deviled eggs. And these aren't just your classic deviled eggs. We gave these a modern kick and we put blue cheese in the filling and then topped them with crispy bacon. Pigs in a blanket are a quintessential appetizer from the 60s. These are updated though. We put chicken sausage in them and then wrapped them with crescent dough. And you should serve these with plenty of dipping sauce, like mustard. Other appetizers you could serve would be veggies and dip and Chex Mix. I cut the vegetables horizontally, but instead of serving them on a huge platter, I put them in these really cool retro glasses. I put the ranch at the bottom so your guests can get dip in every single bite. And then classic Chex Mix, but this isn't from the bag. This is the real deal. This is sure to be a crowd pleaser. All right, now let's talk desserts. Do you remember your grandma's jello mold? Well, these aren't it. These are a classier, simple version. They're great for parties because they're already individual servings. I put them in cute little mini martini glasses and coupe glasses. It's just standard jello, but it looks so good with a little bit of fresh fruit and then whipped topping. They're so easy to make, look great, and they're so much fun to eat. Remember, when it comes to creating themed parties, it's all in the details. From sending a fabulous invitation to your guests to set the tone for your party, to having really great decor and food and cocktails, you want to carry the theme throughout everything. And remember to have fun, and when in doubt, ask yourself, what would Don Draper do? That's all for me, I'm Brandy. If you enjoyed this episode of Theme My Party, be sure to like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to Pop Sugar Girls Guide, where I'm gonna be sharing with you my latest party planning ideas. Thanks for watching, and cheers!